Olivia's go-to creative colleague, cinematographer Reed Morano, shares a different perspective on Meadowland, her debut as director. With over 40 credits to her name, Reed became one of the youngest members of the American Society of Cinematographers. Reed, what a joy it is to have you here at the Savannah Film Festival. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. And Meadowland, you've played so many roles in your career, and in this one, you played two very critical roles. It was really speaking to me. My intuition was, if they're reading this powerfully to me on the page, imagine what it would feel like trying to immerse the audience into this on the big screen. Absolutely. In your directorial debut, the directors you become so close with, seeing how vulnerable they have to make themselves to tell the story, and it takes a lot of guts to do that because it's going to be picked apart by everyone and you just have to take a chance, you know? I was hoping that it would become a very visceral journey that would engulf you in their emotions. So you must like working with Olivia. I love working with Olivia. She is like, I couldn't have gotten more lucky to find a partner. I just think we realized were kindred spirits. Reed's compelling cinematic eye gained recognition in the 2008 drama Frozen River. So Reed, you don't want to be known for any one cinematic style. Maybe you could explain a little bit about that to me. I kind of want to push myself to disappear into each story. I think I was out of school probably about six years before I found the script for Frozen River. It turned out, you know, that was a really difficult shoot. It wasn't glamorous, but I was happy to be doing it and because I knew we were making something good and it was worth it. Kill Your Darlings is one that I did fairly recently. It was like a little known story about Allen Ginsberg. The opening in the beginning of the film is told in a more like very um, uptight, classic Hollywood style. And it becomes more of a French new wave type of look. Even more recently than that, I did a film called Skeleton Twins, which stars Kristen Wiig and Bill Hader and Luke Wilson. It's a very like heartfelt, poignant story about a brother and a sister coming back together and reconnecting. He was confused. I felt terrible for him. Hey, you had no right! What advice do you have for students who are heading out into the world of storytelling? As a cinematographer shooting like 40-something movies before being my own director was really smart for me. The way to give yourself the best chance and also to gain respect in the industry is to do every job once at least. And so you can understand that when you become the leader in the crew, you can understand everyone's jobs better and maybe you could be a better problem solver. Yeah, yeah. Great advice. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, I love your work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me.